up. So I've already made a skincare routine video on this channel, but I have since pared down my routine quite a bit, and I just wanted to make an update with my simplified skincare routine. I changed out a couple products, but most of the things that I'm gonna talk about now are things that I talked about then, but there's just gonna be a lot of stuff that I talked about then that I'm not gonna talk about now because I stopped using it. This is really boring. Let's move on. First of all, I am still taking spironolactone and clindamycin for my acne. Spironolactone is an anti-androgen that has worked wonders for my specific brand of acne, which is adult female hormonal acne, I think. I think that's all the words. That's all the words. Yeah. And clindamycin is just an antibiotic, and I've actually reduced my dose on that just because Hopefully I don't have to take it anymore now that things have kind of settled down. Next, as far as makeup removal in the evening goes, I use two products. For my face, I use the Burt's Bees Sensitive Facial Cleansing Towelettes. These are great. They are just as effective as the simple cleansing wipes. They cost the same, and these come in a prettier packaging. But as sensitive as these are, it turns out they are not sensitive enough for my eyes. Turns out, very little is. So if I'm wearing anything more than mascara on my eyes, then I need to remove it with a different product, and I've been using the Trader Joe's Spa 100% Pure Jojoba Oil. That's how you pronounce it. I googled it. Fact check that shit. Cause I'm right. This is not the best remover, but it is probably the most sensitive product I've used to remove my eye makeup. My eye area does still get pretty irritated if I use this too often, but I think that has more to do with rubbing a cotton ball against my eyes than it does with this product in particular. Although I do have to rub more with a cotton ball because this isn't the best remover, I'm probably not gonna repurchase it. Everything else that I use for my skin is from the Vanicare line, which is great for sensitive skin. Obviously it's dye-free and fragrance-free, but it's also free of like every allergen ever. It's great. If you have sensitive skin, I highly recommend checking it out. So I cleanse in the morning and evening using the Vanicream cleansing bar. I've gone through like three or four of these. No complaints. I moisturize morning and evening using the Vanacream Light Lotion. Just a good basic everyday moisturizer that works for me. And the last thing that I use is the Vanaply Ointment. My dryness problem has all but disappeared, hopefully forever. The only residual dryness that I have is on my nose and this takes care of that. So I just apply this to the dry spots at night and by morning, everything's cool. I also use this on my eyes in the evening if I have any irritation which is almost always. It keeps the irritated spots from getting super flaky and gross. So, and that's it. That's my whole skincare video. Isn't that so much shorter than the other one? I'm so pleased with myself. If you have any sensitive eye care recommendations, please let me know in the comments. Also, if you have any video requests for this channel, put them there too, and I will see you next time.